Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please smash the like button to keep it going and consider subscribing for more modded Minecraft. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. And my eyes are on fire from, uh, from being up so late. I never, I usually never, never stay up that late, but I couldn't, I couldn't go, I couldn't make myself go to sleep. So we are working on deployers. We need good stuff. Did I never put down, hmm, I never put down a waystone for basalt. But I think if we head to this cloud one and go down, that's close to the basalt. I can make it to the water, right? Whee! I still did not make ladders. <laughs> to climb back up. Ugh. Let's hope that we can find some more nether quartz over here. Because I put all of my nether quartz on... Uh, dude, you stole from me again? You stole my, my plate of pasta? That's crazy. What was I saying? I put all of my quartz on my cleaver. Eat. Which hindsight, right? Now we need quartz. There we go. Did it come in my inventory? It did not. How much did we get? 15 pieces is enough. Drink. Whoops. Well, thinking of maybe, I hope it's not an island. You know, like when we put down a waystone, we can always teleport to the waystone and bring it back. Like it's not permanent. So I'm going to put a waystone over here for another quartz. Gold. Dimensional shard oil. Uh, dimensional shards. A lot of uranium. Osmium. There we go. Because I do want to get enough to finish the modifier that we got. On our cleaver. And the gold, of course. Well. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put a waystone over here. We can always come pick it back up if we we need one. And we'll do quartz. And home. So we need redstone. We need quartz. We need seven pieces since we already made one. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a stack of redstone. Here we go. Oh, we did get a Nautilus shell. Nice. And where did I put my sandpaper? There we go. We have our polished rose quartz. 
We need redstone torch, we need iron nuggets, and I believe we need one for each one. So the precision mechanism needs three. Let's go ahead and make three. Three redstone. Three sticks. Three torches. Three pieces of iron nugget. Three, three, and... Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm only making three of them, right? That is not the craft. There we go. Three of them. So we have that, we have andesite casings, we have cogwheels. We need more cogwheels. We need more buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. More buttons. And then we need our brass hands. So we need Thea, both. We need 12 uh, turned into, oh, I guess we could have alloyed it inside here as well. But we need 12 turned into plates. Cool. So we'll let this guy go through real quick. And then we can start working on moving the stress units. So let's head over here. We have stress units coming down. Let's also make a clutch. So that we can cut the power or the stress. We can cut the stress units. We need two redstone. And we need a lever of some sort. Two of these guys. And then let's also... Nah, we'll just make a regular lever for right now. Stick and... Let's see. Gemstones. Bones. These guys. The uranium. So stick. Cobble. Boop, boop. And a clutch. Nighttime. All right. We're heading down. We're going to need gearbox. Go make some gearbox as well. So we do need to turn the directions. Gearbox. Two sounds good. One, two. Yeah, we just need two. We'll turn one of them vertical. We'll we'll run it along the ground for right now. Turn one of them vertical. And we'll head this way. Bloop. Two, three. And let's do two crafts. From here, what we're going to do is, let's see. That's going to come straight through. We can do a horizontal gearbox here. Should we attach the clutch directly on this guy? We're not giving ourselves very much room here. This is kind of temporary. I feel like I'm going to fix it in between episodes. We'll put down a clutch. We'll put down the lever so we can turn this guy on and off. We need shaft, and then we need to turn it into a belt. So let's see. It'll be shaft. Here will be a blank space. Deployer, 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 blank space. 
the uh, funnel if we want to. And then here we can put this guy, the weighted ejector. We need to make, here will be the weighted ejector. We need a chute and we need a hopper. So let's see, let's grab a chest. Come on, nope. Ooh, a wisteria chest looks pretty sweet. And we need iron. All right, and shoot. Two iron plates. All right. Let's check our quests real quick. Because that would be really depressing if we ended up getting these things as quest rewards. So the deployer, oh, we need to make another sandpaper. The challenge, no one cares about the challenge. Do we have any extra plates in here for iron? I don't. Cast that out. We have the brass hands. For three of them. And then the deployers. What are we missing? We're missing cogwheels. Eight. There. Three deployers. Where's the cogwheel one? Okay, so four large cogwheels. All right, we're going to cast out the iron. We only need two, and we need two andesite alloys. Two. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Shoot. We do need those, uh, the seaweed. All right, so dried kelp. Grab one belt. We'll leave the kelp there. That's fine. And let's go ahead and stretch the belt across. We're going to go from here to here. At the very end, we're going to shift hopper. Yeah, it's super close. We're going to shoot. Oop. The clutch is not going to work in this like this. The clutch is not going to activate unless I do it backwards. It I can do it backwards, yeah. I can attach the deployers from this side. So we'll do a weighted ejector here. No, I need to shift right click here first. There we go. And we're going to need deployers in the middle. Let's go. Space. One, two, three. Whoops. Okay. And we can set up a what was it? A funnel? No, not a funnel. Tunnel. Tunnel. Two brass. Electron tube. We're also going to need one, two gearboxes. So one, two, three, four, five gearboxes. I guess I could have done it facing this way. I could have made it facing this way. Let's do that. Turn this guy around.
I'm gonna put the, this guy here. This guy here. Oop, let me get the dimensions right first. Here. And there. Here and there. This guy, this guy. Oh, it's turning the wrong way. I'm going to have to gear shift this guy, really? Just because it's turning the wrong way. Or I can put it over here. This guy. Shoot. Weighted ejector. Shift boop. There. Hmm. It's a little tight. Now I want to scoot it. So if we scoot it over to one, two. Two. One, two. Here. Clutch. Lever. Your box. Belt. This guy, this guy, third time's a charm, right here. Deployers will go along, whoops, one, two, three. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, gearbox. Five gearbox. Let's also sleep. All right, gearbox. Make one, we're out of small co uh, small cog wheels. Oh, that's three, we're out of cog wheels again. Fifteen. Whoops. There we go. Three, four, five. All right, one of them is going to have to be a vertical. Vertical, vertical. Two of them have to be vertical. We're going to do that. We're going to make one of these brass tunnels. So we need another electron tube. And we need two plates, cool. And two dried uh, seaweed, which is over here. Two dried seaweed. We need to make a stick. Any sticks? Yep. I'll drop this off for a second. If 
Iron Nugget. Electron Tube, Frost Tunnel. Alright, let's put the brass tunnel down right here. Alright, and we need a filter since we can't right click it with the precision. Attribute filter for a filter. What's the difference between the brass one? Let's just go ahead and make a brass one real quick. We're also going to need to grab a... Where did all of our wood go? Oh, we turned all of the wood into buttons, didn't we? Alright, so... That's sand. Chest. Gold builder's tea. Drop off the crank and the super glue. All right, we're going to need. Two pieces of iron or two pieces of brass? Let's do brass. I believe it was a piece of wool. Do we have any wool? White wool. Nice. Alright, attribute filter. Precision. That is not what I wanted to make. Deny list, allow list. Is that... Did they just change the design, the way it looks? They might have. Maybe I made the iron one. But this should work. No attribute, allow list. Precision mechanism. Add attribute. Is in group, create. Let's see if this will work. I want the precision mechanism to come this way. Oh, and then we do need to make a tunnel so that it'll go into the chest. Or else it won't. Oops. Yeah, that's too close. So two and... Let's go vertical. Shaft vertical. Shaft horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Oop, we got grapes. Okay, so let's see. We need two blocks. Three blocks, two blocks. We need to make a funnel. Another electron tube. Droid kelp. This guy. Another nugget.
It's our funnel. Oops. Don't be like that. Put this guy down over here. Boop, boop. There, there. Nope. Whoops. Maybe I did make it one over. If I put one in there, it does turn. Break this guy off. Get this guy. Weighted ejector. Put him here. Put this guy there. The brass tunnel here. The attribute filter looks like it still has it. There we go. All right, we need three. We need three of the hoppers for multiple items up top. So let's go. Fifteen. We need three. One, two, three. We need fifteen. Okay, and then to make the precision mechanism, we're going to need gold plates. We're gonna need one. We're gonna need five cogwheels of each. We have the those cogwheels. We need big cogwheels. The big cogwheel. We need five. And then we need nuggets, right? Five nuggets. Here we go. And then we need a gold plate. Gold plate. Alright, I can't jump up over here. Over here. One, two, three. The first one is going to be five. Small. The second one is going to be five large. And the third one is going to be five nuggets. Small, large nuggets. And now when I put this guy in here, it should work. Sunset. Boop. Let's make sure it jumps first. And... No. We need to set the filters. The filter didn't work properly. No, I don't want that. Did take the filter out. Incomplete precision mechanism. So let's try and make the iron filter. It was just wool, right? Wool and iron. So it's probably the iron filter I'm thinking of. Let's see, do we have... Yeah, we do. And two pieces of iron. Put this in here real quick. Two. Regular filter. 
Yeah, this is the one I was using. This one's, it's funny, it's the basic one. It's, it's a lot simpler to use. All right, so we're going to right click, we're going to go precision. The only thing I want to go through here is a precision mechanism for right now. And that will go this direction. And now we should have no problems. Oop, I didn't take it out of the chest. Now it should work. So this will be the second time it run through. Yep. Pew. The second time it's run through, this will be the third time out of five. And then of course when we get uh, our rotation speed controller built, we can make this guy ridiculously fast and then we can turn it on and off with the clutch. It's pretty fun. We might have to move some of the stuff over just a little bit to be able to attach the clutch to this unit or the rotation speed controller to this unit. Oh. Precision mechanism. Let's see, how are we on quests? Adjustable chain gear shift and then the rotation speed controller. Oh, you know what I just realized we bypassed? Since we picked up brass casings, we don't need to make the polished wood planks from Eidolon. Haha. <laughs> That's kind of rough. Were we really supposed to make a blood altar to get to brass? Or was it just the rotation speed controller that is gated? Just to make it faster, I guess it's gated because of that. Polished wood planks would be living wood in the blood altar. This was a different recipe when I did it in alpha, though. Living wood through the blood altar, the blood altar... Cooking pot, conduit, other stone from occultism, arcane stone, lightning crafting, arcane gold is now alloyable, right? Enchanting apparatus for arcane gold. These recipes are so terrifying, you are correct, Ren. They make us work for it. So yeah, the the uh, brass casings are gated. So they probably did not want us to get to rotation speed controllers yet. Because it's gated. But we did it because we got lucky with the random Minecraft dungeon that had uh, brass casings. Whoops. Are we breaking pack progression? It's really the only thing we're doing is making it faster at this moment. Because what I do want to make uh, tech-wise, this is going to make our oak bricks. So we need four uh, to make coke bricks. Four deployers. So I think uh, we're not really breaking pack progression. We're just making the create machines faster for right now. Because we are we don't need brass casings for anything else, I don't think. Coke brick. It's regular mixer. We can do that by hand. Or, no. We could do it by hand. But we could also attach a rotation speed controller to this homeboy. And make it supercharged. Attach it to a clutch. So I guess let's just keep trucking with what we were doing. I was going to make it fast. Let's see. Create. Is 
it wants an adjustable chain gear shift before this quest is unlocked. Brass casing and shaft. Let's let's skip the quest book so that we can progress. Whoops, lag spike. Big lag spike. Thank you. So we're going to put some stuff up. Basin, mechanical press, mixer. Two of these guys. Yeah, we can make the rotation speed controller straight up. Boop, there we go. Louder cogwheel. Do I have the wrench in my inventory? Or did I ditch it? Where did I put the wrench? Or did I even... I think I accepted it. No create wrench. Wrench. At the framed wrench. Where did I hide it? For real though, where did I put it? Where on earth did I put the wrench? There it is. So let's see how we can make this this guy faster. It's gonna have to go clutch into rotation speed controller. Quest for that one, okay. Alright, so It needs to go clutch to rotation speed controller. This guy, this guy is now attached. Clutch. Uh -uh. Burp. And then we're just one off, which drives me bonkers. So I could move everything over, which would be a pain. Or I can make three gearboxes just to wrap this corner. I guess I'll do gearboxes. Three gearboxes coming up. Too bad the wall wasn't making up uh, made up with gearboxes. Also, Undate, good evening. How are you doing today? Three gearboxes. We have one. Two, three. Not that bad. It's just going to look bad. Wrapping the corner like this. This guy. This guy. This guy. Clutch. And we're going to have to turn this guy up. Can I reach it though? Will I have to go under? Really? I have to go under. Alright. Max speed. 256. Yep, it's not stalling. 256 max speed. Wait, what? Whoa, bro. Did I not? I turned it up to max speed. Why is it not turning? 
Oh, I got a throughput going on. Whoops. It needs to attach to this bottom part. It needs to attach to this guy. So we're going to put the clutch here. The lever on top. Where'd it go? There it is. We're going to go vertical, vertical, horizontal. Is it nighttime? Whoops. Oh no. Server downtime uh, uh, undate? That sounds rough. When you want to get your fix. Up. There we go. Speedy boy. So now we're running at max speed. Max speed boy. And we can turn it off and uh, stress units can be used somewhere else. So we can turn our machines on and off. Speedy boy. Let's cover this. Do we have the die on us? Let's try cyan. Bloop. Cyan. Alright, so we got a speedy boy. I also want to turn this see through. There we go. Noise. I'm, s I'm wondering if I can attach... If this is too close, if, or if I can attach it. On the, uh, the fourth one. Let's drop this off. Let's make a fourth one so that we can prep for uh, the coke bricks for immersive engineering. So let's see, brass, we need another electron tube. Did I use up all of the electron tubes? We'll make another eight. They want, because they want us to make uh, Sandpaper over again. So sand and paper. Oh my sand. There it is. It's in the wrong drawer. Sandpaper. Someone made a whoopsie with a bee honeycombs automation and didn't think about it. And flooded their mechanism item pipes with combs because they had nowhere to go. So it started a heavy lag and then no one could play all of a sudden. Told them to make proper automations before starting it and chunk loading it. Yeah, that's pretty rough for your server. See, I'd be worried that... Uh, what I do on my single player uh, is not good for servers. This iron nugget. Oh no, we have them here. Durr. Let's make one anyway. Uh, there we go. Electron tube. Brass hand. We need four more pieces of brass. Cast them out. We have brass. Tinkers. Three pieces of brass. Did I move all of my... I did. So we'll do five pieces of copper. And we'll do five pieces of let me it's probably an eclipse huh yeah it's an eclipse 
and five pieces of zinc. And we'll go to the... we'll melt it. Five and five. Plates. Yeah. There we go. Brass. Dark during an eclipse. Four. Whoops. What? Brass hand. Deployer. So we're going to need another hopper for this deployer as well. And another gearbox. Whoops. Why do you do that? We need a hopper and we need a horizontal gearbox. Boom. All right. So another chest. One, five, and a gearbox, cogwheels, gearbox. And let's hope that that can work and it's not too close. Lag spike. Put you there. Put you there. Get rid of the twigs on the ground. So we might be able to fit another one in here. I just worry that it's too close to the, the tunnel. But that is what we need to make coke brick. So we need construction paste, which is going to be dense construction block, construction block powder, that's easy to make, through the pulverizer. And we need coke brick. Coke brick blend it needs to be mixed, and we need cinder flour. So we do have to make the crushing wheels for this guy. Just because only the only way to get cinder flour is through the crushing wheels. Let's see what the quest book is forcing us to do. Oh, we went through the adjustable chain gear shift and we got credit. What did it give us? I didn't see what the epic loot was. Probably just gave us more cogwheels. Um... We have mechanical belts. I mean, four of them to unlock that. We went through that. Gear shift. Millstone. Mechanical mixer. Crushing wheels. Mechanical crafter. Wow, that's expensive. Wait, the, the mechanical crafter requires brass casings? So if the mechanical crafter requires brass casings and that requires the polished wood planks we have to do blood magic just for the altar we have to do living wood from batania we have to do the the white daisy the pure daisy to get the wood blood altar requires a whole bunch of stuff wow so we wouldn't be able to progress through tech because at this point 
we need uh, magic stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.